Hello students, welcome back to all. In our last class, we discussed about the classification of elements, different periodic tables we discussed. So the first uh, Dabrinius Laugh Triad, so Triad, and then after Newland's Octave Theory and Mandelieff's Periodic Table. So the three classifications we discussed in the previous video. So now in this video, we would like to discuss about the modern periodic table, right? See, then the Mandelieff's periodic table, it is somewhat new, relevant to the modern periodic table, which means he told that the Mandelieff's periodic table there is a periodic law. The periodic law states that. What did the periodic law states? The physical and chemical properties of the elements are the periodic functions of their atomic weight. So, but the modern periodic table is completely different from the atomic weight, which means the modern periodic table is uh, classified on the basis of the atomic weight is it okay of course Mandelieff uh, tried to arrange the elements in the systematic order but in few cases he failed so at that time when Mandelieff introduced this periodic table even electrons also not discovered without any knowledge regarding electrons protons or atomic number only on the basis of the atomic weight only he introduced his modern uh, his periodic table he arranged the elements in the table basing on the atomic weight so on the honor of his duty in the periodic table 101 element is named as Mandelivium. On his name, the honor is given to him. So, what is the 101 element? Mandelivium. Because of his hard work or honor, the 101 element is named as the Mandelivium. So, now in this video, let us see how the modern periodic table is arranged. Let us see. So, the modern periodic table is introduced by H.J. Mosley in 1930. How did the, uh, he find the atomic weight? Let us see. Atomic number, sorry, atomic number. So, here one question is there. Who assign atomic number to the element means no doubt it, it is Newland because the first he introduced the atomic number to the element but basing on the atomic number who arranged the elements in the periodic table means that is H.J. Mosley because the uh, Dabrenius law of octave oh, sorry Dabrenius law of triad or Newland's octave theory or Mandelivium periodic table, all these classifications are based on atomic weight. But the mostly is introduced the atomic number. So how he introduced the atomic number? Let us see. So he found that by doing a lot of experiments, he found that the elements can exhibit the characteristic pattern of X-rays by bombarding or when subject to the bombardment of high energy electron. So while an analyzing these X-rays, he calculated the number of positive charges are there in the atoms of respect to elements. So the number of positive charges is nothing but protons. 
in the atom of the element then he called that that is the atomic number of the element is it okay he observed when the high energy electrons are bombarded then it gives x rays while analyzing the x rays there are number of positive charges are there in the respective elements so he told that the number of positive charges or other words protons are the atomic number of the element at that time he don't know he did he doesn't know any idea about electrons but he told that basing on the positive charge or protons he given the number to the atomic number to the element so with this analysis mostly realized that atomic number is the more fundamental characteristic than atomic weight because all the scientists are tried at that time basing on the atomic weight only the elements are uh, classified in the periodic table arranged in the periodic table but because of by depending on the atomic weight also there are some limitations because in case of in the case of mandelieu periodic table there is tellurium and an iodine so by arranging these two elements basing on their atomic weight it is not giving uh, exact position to these elements so he thought that why don't we take the fundamental unit as atomic number so he find out that the most fundamental characteristic of an element is the atomic number so after knowing the atomic number of the element it was recognized that the better way of arranging the elements in the periodic table is according to the increasing order of their atomic number and not with the atomic weight is it okay so and moreover by arranging the elements in the increasing order of their atomic number so many limitations are classified or clarified by this theory by his classification basing on the atomic number because the arrangement is eliminated the problems of some anomalous series because in case of tellurium and iodine if he arranged the two elements basing on the atomic number then the number concept is acceptable so he told that the periodic law is changed at the time of mandelieu's periodic table the periodic law is based on the atomic weight but he told that the atomic number concept are forced to the periodic law to be changed which means the periodic law is changed from atomic weight to atomic number so that's it, that is called modern periodic law let us so modern periodic law states that the physical and chemical properties of the elements are the periodic functions of their atomic number but again he examined so many observations and he revised the atomic law modern periodic law the physical and chemical properties of the elements are the periodic functions of their electronic configuration see up to mandelieu only atomic weight is the fundamental unit but the mostly discovered protons and he told the atomic number atomic number is designated with capital z and he modified it it has the periodic functions of the electronic configuration see how it is changed let us see the modern periodic law states that the properties of the elements are the periodic functions of their atomic number of course so by knowing atomic number we can easily know the electronic configuration also so that is why he modified the modern periodic law is periodic functions of their electronic configuration so this is the new periodic law based on the electronic configuration or based on the atomic number he arranged the 115 elements in the periodic table so here based on the modern periodic law the modern periodic table he proposed but this modern periodic table is no doubtedly it is extension of the mandelieu's periodic table because uh, the mandelieu's periodic table is somewhat having some limitations this is the shortest periodic table short form of periodic table so the mostly uh, 
has extended the periodic table and in introduced the new periodic table. So the Mandelieff's periodic table is known as the short form of periodic table whereas modern periodic table is known as the long form of the periodic table. Is it okay? So it is given atomic number of element indicates not only the positive charges. So the protons in the nucleus of the atom of the element but also the number of electrons in the neutral atom. So at first he introduced the po positive charges as protons then after he introduced the electrons also. So that is why the modern periodic law is changed as the periodic functions of their electronic configuration. So now he introduced the modern periodic table. Uh, it is containing 18 groups and 7 periods. Whereas in case of short periodic table, short form of periodic table means Mandelieff's periodic table. It is containing only 8 groups and 7 periods. In 8 groups again it is containing subgroups. But in the modern periodic table or long form of periodic table it is containing 8 group, 18 groups and 7 periods. Let us see how the periodic table uh, is, uh, how the periodic table is proposed and how the elements are arranged in the periodic table. So this is the modern periodic table of elements. So the mostly is proposed this modern periodic table. This is called long form of modern periodic table. Short form of the periodic table means Mandelieff's periodic table. So now here he introduced 18 groups and 7 periods. So 18 groups means the vertical columns are 18 here. 7 periods means horizontal lines. So here the horizontal lines 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So these 7 are called 7 periods. 18 means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. These 18 groups, 18 columns are called 18 periods. Okay. So now we first the study about the groups about groups so here these 18 columns are called 18 groups or vertical lines columns are called groups so here the first group is named as 1a second group is named as 2a but the third group is named as 2b which means this is 3a 3a 4a 5a 6a 7a 8a and 1b, 2b, 3b, 4b, 5b, 6b, 7b and these three vertical columns are named as 8b. So like this there are total number of 18 groups. So here how the elements are arranged in the periodic table means basing on their electronic configuration we discussed. So, basing on their electronic configuration, he arranged the elements in the periodic table in groups. So, here in the periodic, in the sorry, in the atomic structure, we discussed about what is the valency shell. Valency shell means last shell. So, the elements with similar outer shell or valency shell electronic configuration in their atoms are in the same column called group which means see in case of the first element sorry in case of the first group the elements hydrogen lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium francium all the elements in the first group having the similar electronic configuration the configuration of hydrogen is 1s1 and lithium is 2s1 sodium is 3s1 which means I am writing the valency shell configuration, valency shell electrons configuration. So 4s1, 5s1, 6s1 and 7s1. 
which means in case of the 1a group all the lost shell all the valence electron is entering into the s orbital only so basing on this electronic configuration the first a group is named as 1a group so in the same way here the 2a group so beryllium magnesium calcium strontium barium radium in case of the 2a group all the electrons entering into ns2 shell ns2 means here 2s2 3s2 4s2 5s2 6s2 7s2 like this which means it is having configuration but i am writing here the valence shell configuration is it okay and 3a group 3a group means it is different so we know that s block p block d block f block we discussed the blocks spdf or oh sorry spdf orbitals in the atomic structure what we discussed there just wait see s block means it is containing only two electrons p block means six electron d block means 10 electron f block means 14 electron so basing on their uh, orbitals so the periodic table is also classified basing on their the electron the valence electron enters into the orbital so here the two 1a group and 2a group is called s block elements these two groups are called s block elements and from 3a to 8a group which means 3a 4a 5a 6a 7a 8a these six columns are called p block elements and from scandium to zinc which means 3b to 2b means third column to 12th column these elements are called d block elements and here there are two series are there at the bottom of the periodic table these two are called f block elements so how these bo blocks are classified which means here while we are observing in the s block elements the outer shell electron enters into the s orbital only so here the general configuration is ns1 and the general configuration for 2a group is ns2 which means in the 1a group elements all are alkali metals and all all in all metals the last valence electron enters into the ns1 orbital only in the 2a group all the electrons enters into the ns2 orbital only. all the electrons means all the valence electrons in all elements are entering into the ns2 orbital only so that is why these two groups are called s block elements while coming from 3a to 8a so these elements all the valence electrons of these elements enters into the p block only so that is why these group these six groups are called p block elements while from scandium to zinc all the elements the valence electron enters into the d block only d cell only d subshell so that is why these six uh, sorry these uh, 10 groups are named as d block elements and here the last two series are there so this is called 4f series and this is called 5f series so why here 4f 5f means the valence shell and electron enters into the 4f shell and 5f shell so that is why the elements are called 4f series and 5f series so like this the modern periodic table is classified is it okay once again i am giving one example here for example take sodium atom its electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s1 so the valence shell electrons into the s orbital only so that is where the the sodium metal is called sodium atom is called s block element take aluminium write the configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p1 
so here the last electron enters into the p orbital so that is where aluminum is placed in the p block elements take scandium so here the configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 and so on finally the last electron enters into the 3d1 so d orbital so that is why scandium is uh, placed at the d block elements whereas take the cerium so here the last outermost electron enters into the 4f2 f orbital so that is why here this is placed as the f block elements so like this the periodic table is classified as four blocks s block so this is s block these two and this is p block these 10 groups are d block and these two series are f block is it okay and now let us see one more point so here the first group elements 1a group elements from lithium to francium are called alkali metals the general electronic configuration is 1 ns1 means its valency also 1 and the second group elements from beryllium to radium so the second group is called 2a group elements and also it is called alkaline earth metals and general electronic configuration is ns2 and the valence is 2 why these elements are called alkali metals alkaline earth metals all the topics we will discuss in the next video okay and the third group 3a group from boron to thallium so this is called boron family So here the general electronic configuration is NS2, NP1. So valence is 3. And the fourth group from carbon to flavorinium. So the fourth group is called carbon family. And it uh, general electronic configuration is NS2, NP2. Valence is 4. And fifth group is called from nitrogen to bismuth. It is called nitrogen family. So nitrogen family's configuration is NH2, NP3. So valency is 3 because valency electrons are 5 but valency is 3. We will discuss what is valency and what are valence electrons in the next topic. Chemical bond topic we will discuss all the topics. Okay. And the sixth oxygen to sixth group oxygen family. So here the oxygen family is also called chalcogens. Why the name is come chalcogens we will discuss later. So the configuration is NH2 NP4 which means valency is 2. Valency electrons are 6 but valency is 2. And uh, fluorine fluorine to acetate it is called halogen family configuration is nh2 np5 so valence electrons are 7 but valency is 1 and the last group helium 2 radon noble gas family so its configuration is nh2 np6 octet configuration so valency is 0 is it okay so like this the total s and p blocks are arranged now let us see about the horizontal lines means periods okay so while coming to the periods so first period second period third period fourth period fifth period sixth period and seventh period total seven periods are there so in the first period so it is number is given one two three four seven like this so in the first period it is containing only two elements hydrogen and helium only two elements okay and also here the two elements having configuration 1s1 1s2 which means here the 
two electrons present in the one main shell that is k shell in the first period there are two elements are there and the two elements are present in the only one main shell that is k shell because in the periodic uh, sorry in the atomic structure we discussed k shell l shell m shell n shell so here the p in the periods of the modern periodic table the first period containing two elements and the two elements are present in the k shell only okay in the p in the groups we discussed the atomic config uh, sorry electronic configuration but here we are discussing the shells the second period so that second period containing 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 elements total number of 8 elements and here the 8 elements are present in the k and l shell because these two elements uh, lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine and neon so these eight elements will present in s orbital as well as p orbital so that is why there are two main shells are in the second shell, second period k shell and m shell so total number of elements are eight in the second period so the total number of eight elements will present in the k main shell and l main shell okay so two elements from s block elements and six elements from p block elements this is about the second period let us see the third period so the third period also containing one two three four five six seven eight total number of eight elements and the eight elements are present in the from sodium magnesium aluminium silicon phosphorus sulfur chlorine argon so there are total number of eight elements in the pe third period so two elements from s block and six elements from p block so here the third period is start with the m shell this shell has three subshells namely 3s 3p 3d but while electrons are being filled into the shell 3d gets electrons only after 4s fill so therefore the third period containing again eight elements which include s block and p block so actually what is the point here that from third period m shell also will start but in the m shell again three subshells are there 3s 3p and 3d but the 3D subshell is not filled because first 4F, 4S orbital will fill, then only 3D orbital will fill. So that is why again in the third period there are total number of 8 elements, 2 elements from S block and 6 elements remaining these 6 elements from P block. And now from 4th period. So from 4th period N shell will start. So again this N shell having 4s, 4p, 4d and 4f orbitals. But while electrons are being filled into the shell, electrons enters into the 4s, 3d and 4p. Then after 4f. So due to this, the fourth period contains here 18 elements. So two elements from S block. 6 elements from P block and 10 elements from D block. So here the fourth period containing the total number of 18 elements. Scandium 2, Zinc. These 10 elements are from D block. Potassium, Calcium. These two are from S block. So here Gallium 2, Chromium, Krypton. These 6 elements are from P block. So like this there are total number of 18 elements are present in the fourth period. But here the fourth period the electrons will enter into the 3d orbital 3d subset okay in the same way the fifth period is also containing 18 electrons fifth period because it is also here fifth period also two elements these two elements from s orbital s block 
and the six elements these six elements from p block and the remaining 10 elements from d block and the electron enters into the d subcell only so that is why here in the fifth period also total number of 18 elements will present and now let us see sixth and seventh periods see here the sixth period it is containing total number of 32 elements how which means here there are two elements from s block these two and the six element this six element from p block and the 10 elements from d block and the remaining here two series are there 4f series and 5f series 4f series elements are from cerium to lutetium these 14 elements are from f block so like this total number of 32 elements will present in the sixth period so this 4f series containing 14 elements this 4f series is called lanthanides or lanthanoids and in the same way the 5f series is called actinides 4f series is called lanthanides these two series are present at the bottom of the modern periodic table okay and the last period seventh period it is called incomplete period because it is containing two elements from s block and 10 elements from d block 14 elements from f block but it is incomplete period because we don't know how many new elements will discover will be discovered so this, that is what is called incomplete period so like this the elements will be arranged in the groups and periods of the modern periodic table here in the period while we studying about the periods we we should concentrate on the the first period containing two elements second period containing eight third period containing eight fourth period containing 18 fifth period containing 18 sixth period containing 32 and seventh period is incomplete so this periods containing like this number of elements so first uh, first period means that is k shell second period k and l shell third period m shell fourth period n shell and so on like this n shell n shell n shell so we should know the details and also we should know awareness about the blocks so s block these two groups are called s block these are called p block and this is called d block and the remaining two series 4f and 5f are called f block elements so this is what about the modern periodic table so basing on the modern periodic table it is easy to find out whether which uh, or any element having similar properties with that of the relevant element because see if suppose in case of first uh, first group if you see the first group here from lithium to francium all the elements in the group having similar properties is it okay while in the second group also from beryllium to radium all the elements having similar properties so that is why these are called alkali metals and these are called alkaline earth metals see the carbon halogens halogen family all are all elements in the in this group having similar properties and noble gas family so this is very acceptable periodic table up to now this is updated uh, periodic table and it is acceptable everywhere so this is all about today class